This is the CS Moments. Today's topic is neoadjuvant therapy, and the case we'll be discussing is a patient that had no response to neoadjuvant therapy, and there is unknown staging information. I'm Donna Gress, AJCC Technical Specialist. If a patient had no response to neoadjuvant therapy, Remember that you should always use the information that demonstrates the worst case scenario for collaborative stage. So when a patient has no response, the worst scenario is after the treatment. Why pathologic? This equates to eval code 6. Eval code 6 is the why pathologic staging information being used, the surgical resection pathology report. This shows failure of the neoadjuvant therapy no response to that therapy. Now if you have unknown staging information, if the Y pathologic information is unknown or not available in your medical record, you should record the Y pathologic stage information as unknown, tumor size 999, extension 999, and lymph nodes 999. You should not code something that you know that does not fit this criteria. The proper information to collect is that this information is unknown because this is the worst scenario. It's a worse scenario than on the clinical workup prior to the treatment, the clinical stage. Now here's a scenario to help you better understand. A patient has a four centimeter mass in the left breast, infiltrating duct carcinoma, and the axilla is positive on exam with movable lymph nodes and a core biopsy that was positive. Four months after the start of chemotherapy, the exam and imaging demonstrate a larger breast mass and matted axillary lymph nodes. The patient then went on to have a resection at another facility and the pathology report is unavailable. This clearly shows the patient did not respond to treatment and it was worse after the therapy. So for the staging, you should record the Y pathologic information from the resection pathology report even though it is unknown. Record the tumor size is unknown, the extension is unknown, and the lymph nodes as unknown. Use eval code 6 for the tumor size extension and for the lymph nodes. The distant metastasis is always recorded before the treatment. This information came from the collaborative stage pre-post treatment staging specifications team and it can also be found in the AJCC 7th edition cancer staging manual in chapter 1. If you have further questions Please submit them to the Collaborative Stage Forum. This is part of the Cancer Forum. This way everyone can benefit from the questions and the answers. It also allows us to track for educational purposes the types of questions that are coming in so that we can choose the best topics to present in future uh, videos. Please check out our YouTube channel, the AJCC channel, we have more short videos on both AJCC and Collaborative Stage topics. They cover many important concepts. This has been brought to you by the Collaborative Stage Education and Training Team and the AJCC, the American Joint Committee on Cancer. Thank you.